Hi guys, this is Pak Dodot Trunks. We're back on our new series, the PAX Upgrade, about a specific laptop models, what are its internals, and what are its path of upgradability. This will help you find out what are the parts that can be easily added on, or a guide in deciding on buying a laptop on how efficient its cooling system are. Here, I have a Dell Inspiron 153511 laptop, the Intel Core i3 variant, the Core i3 1115G4, two cores, four threads processor, with a max frequency up to 4.10 GHz, 4 gigs of RAM, 256 NVMe SSD, with an Intel UHD graphics. First, we're going to take a look at its rechargeable battery. This is a Dell G91J0 3-cell type lithium battery with a rated voltage of 11.25 volts and a rated capacity of 3467 mA or 41 Watt hours. Because this unit has a configurable TDP based frequency, its battery consumption will last up to three and a half hours of usage based on the processor's lowest TDP limit and one and a half hours if it is configured on a processor's highest TDP limit. And detaching this battery, you will undo three mounting screws and slide this battery connector from its main board. For its Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, it has a Realtek RTL8821CE wireless LAN with a dual antenna, a 802.11ac Wi-Fi protocol, a 1x1 mode, plus a Realtek Bluetooth connectivity. And removing Wi-Fi Bluetooth adapter, you will undo one mounting screw to detach in terms of memory, it has a two removable DIMM slot and one of its slot is populated by a SK Hynix DDR4 4 gigs 3200 MHz running only at 2666 MHz as Dell's memory configuration. This is upgradable to 64 gigs DDR4 2666 MHz or 3200 MHz as maximum memory capacity supported by the processor. On the storage configuration, we have here a M.2 SSD as main drive and an upgrade option for 2.5 inches HDD or SSD. The M.2 SSD is a 2230 SK Hynix 256 gigs PCIe 3x4 MBME SSD as an OS drive. This is upgradable up to 1TB for M.2 2230 PCIe 3x4 MBME SSD and up to 2TB for M.2 2280 PCIe 3x4 NVMe SSD. Upon upgrading a higher capacity of M.2 SSD, you must undo one removable screw and detach its SSD bracket assembly. This has another upgrade option for more storage configuration. This has a 2.5 inches HDD SSD socket. It has a HDD bracket assembly to lock the drive in and has its flexible flat cable connector. This unit support up to 1TB capacity of 2.5 inches HDD or 2.5 inches SSD. Upon upgrading, you must undo 4 removable screws, lift the HDD bracket out. It has another 4 pieces screw to lock the HDD to the bracket and attach the HDD or SSD to the FFC connector. 
This laptop is an Intel Core i3 1115G4, a 2 cores 4 threads processor. This i3 processor has a configurable TDP base frequencies. The lowest TDP processor base frequency is 1.70 GHz, running at 12 watts. The highest TDP processor base frequency is 3 GHz, running at 28 watts. This i3 processor has a maximum frequency of 4.10 GHz. Based on its cooling capacity, it is safe to configure it to the minimum TDP limit because the processor is supported by a single pipe heatsink and a 5 volt 4 pin fan for a cooling system. Heat travels out from the processor to the fan for faster heat dissipation. If you have a very high CPU temperature and needed repasting, just undo these six mounting screws and slide this four pin fan connector from the main board and detach the laptop's cooling system. These laptops are best for office use and student use. They can handle everyday tasks just fine. They're not really meant for serious multitasking or even more demanding tasks such as editing videos, photos, running programs or softwares, or even modern PC games. This Dell and Speron 153511 are still available in the market till this day. This helps you understand which laptop is right for you. And I do hope you find this useful and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and see you in my next video. Bye!